Have a great day. Our devotion for today is about Can we say that the living God is also our God? Jacob realized that God was not only real but wanted to know him and take care of him. In Genesis 28, 18-22 says, 18, The next morning, Jacob got up very early. He took the stone he had rested his head against and he set it upright as a memorial pillar. Then he poured olive oil over it. Verse 19, He named that place Bethel, which means house of God although it was previously called Luz. Verse 20, Then Jacob made this vow, If God will indeed be with me and protect me on this journey, and if he will provide me with food and clothing. Verse 21, And if I return safely to my father's home, then the Lord will certainly be my God. Verse 22, And this memorial pillar I have set up will become a place for worshiping God, and I will present to God a tenth of everything He gives me. When Jacob woke up, he was amazed at the promise God had made to him in his dream. He took the stone he had rested his head on and set up a pillar as a memorial of what had happened in that place. He called it Bethel, which means the house of God. And Jacob made a promise to God that from now on, the God of Abraham and of Isaac would also be his God. And he would give back to him a tenth of all that God gave him throughout his life to show he was grateful for all the blessings he received. Bethel was about 10 miles north of Jerusalem and 60 miles north of Beersheba, where Jacob left his family. This was where Abraham made one of his first sacrifices to God when he entered the land. At first, Bethel became an important center for worship. Later, it was a center of idol worship. The prophet Hosea condemned its evil practices. Was Jacob trying to bargain with God? It is possible that he, in his ignorance of how to worship and serve God, treated God like a servant who would perform a service for a tip. More likely, Jacob was not bargaining but pledging his future to God. He may have been saying in effect, Because you have blessed me. I will follow you. Whether Jacob was bargaining or pledging, God blessed him. But God also had some difficult lessons for Jacob to learn. That's the word for today. And let us pray. Loving, forgiving, and gracious Father God, Thank you for this awesome day. Thank you for the protection and guidance. Thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us, O oh God. Lord, come to us now so that you can be our God too, not just the God of the family you have given to us. Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.